In 2022, India's EV sales surpassed 1 million units for the first time, marking a record 206% year-on-year growth over 2021 in terms of sales numbers. EV industry has huge potential in the future. But do you know the current status of EV industry and what are the challenges it is facing? And most important, what are the good sectors for investment in the EV industry? Today, let's discover the future of Indian economy electronic vehicle industry. The majority of the EVs on Indian roads are low-speed two-to-three-wheelers. Registered electric two-wheelers account for 63% of the total EV sales and three-wheelers is about 30%. Currently, there are 2 million EVs on Indian roads and this number is expected to increase to 45 to 50 million by 2030. By then, India's automotive sector is expected to rank third globally with the pledge to have a minimum of 30% of privately owned vehicles running on EVs. The EV market in India is projected to be valued at $7.09 billion by 2025 with an annual sales growth rate of 49% between 2022 and 2030. In order to achieve this glorious goal, our government announced many policies. Let me highlight some of them. One major reason for the demand of EV in India is serious air pollution. 13 of the top 15 most polluted cities in the world are in India. These cities have the highest levels of air pollution in the world. In these cities, air pollution levels are about 10 times higher than WHO health standards, posing a serious health hazard. This serious air pollution is caused by a variety of factors and with no doubt, automobile exhaust is considered one of the major sources of air pollution and its reduction is an urgent social issue that needs to be solved. Another main reason is cost advantages since the running cost of gasoline-powered vehicles are increasing due to soaring gasoline prices, EV sounds more and more attractive. In fact, looking at the price of gasoline, the cheapest price in the last 10 years was around 60 rupees per liter around 2015. After that, oil prices kept increasing, especially after 2020. The price increase is significant and it is a considerable burden for consumers who use two-wheelers and passenger cars on a daily basis. The third reason may sound unexpected, but novelty and technology are also the attractions of EVs. Many EV owners are highly conscious of being the first to adopt new technologies. In addition, they are willing to adopt new technology that their friends and family around them do not have. Besides that, there was a high level of satisfaction with the driving experience unique to electric vehicles, specifically acceleration power of the motor, quietness, and low vibration were the most common features of both two-wheelers and four-wheelers. Anyway, the EV industry is almost ready to take off, but for incentives, it is expected that the industry may witness a quantum leap in volume and technology. There are great opportunities with EVs to reduce the carbon footprint, dependence on crude oil imports, creating jobs, and building a new technology knowledge hub in India. Although the future of EV industry is bright, there are issues that we still need to address. And investment opportunities are just hiding in these sectors which need to be improved.
All EV four wheelers available in the market have a cruising range of 300 km or more. However, Indian consumers often drive 400 km one way when returning home from the city to the countryside. Therefore, many people may feel that a cruising range of 300 km or more is not sufficient. In addition, the maximum cruising range is shortened by various factors such as acceleration, cruising speed, and whether or not air conditioning is used. Making better lithium is one of the options. Currently, India is not one of the lithium cell manufacturing countries and has a negligible presence in the global supply chain of advanced cell technologies. However, the anticipated size of India's battery market is big enough to support gigascale manufacturing capacity in the coming years. As the demand for EVs grows exponentially, the need for public and community charging stations will also rise. But the fact is that at the end of 2022, India only had 2,700 public charging stations and 5,500 charging connectors. That's far from enough. Going forward, Public fast charging complemented by AC chargers of capacity ranging from 3 to 22 kilowatts at workplace, shopping malls and restaurants will be needed to support the charging infrastructure in India. As planned, the country is likely to have 10,000 public charging stations by the end of 2025 and 20 point black charging stations in total by 2030. Even though it is a huge task, it contains huge growth potential. 